In today's video, we are going to attempt to DIY our very own black and white marble tiles. We will be laying these in a diamond pattern. So if you are thinking about doing a project like this yourself, then keep watching because we'll, I'm sure we'll make many mistakes. But yeah, we're going to try and do that today. Okay, so we're going to start with the rapid set on the bulk of the flooring. Uh, we've also got some slow set because we've got a deal with Tops Tiles where we got some cheaper bags. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with the rapid set and then go with the slow set on the edges. So we're just trying to read the bag now. Okay, so because we've never worked with the uh, because we've never worked with this adhesive before, we're just going to do a little bucket first and see how far that gets us and the ratio, and then we'll be a bit more confident putting more quantities. The builders kindly laid out a line for us to follow, so we're just going to follow that. We're going to start with the black tiles and do all the way up and then fit the white tiles around this main line. Okay, so using a laser level or a spirit level, I would highly recommend marking out your lines on the floor like our builders did before you start. And then you've just got to make sure that you are putting the corners on the line all the way down. So we had the laser level as well because it was kind of disappearing in amongst the adhesive. But yeah, what we decided to do is just start with the full tiles first, get all of those down, and then we were able to just build out on the sides with the cuts from there. Okay, so it's day two of putting up the tiles and I've masked up the wall because apparently it can get quite wet with the wet cutting. And um, so yeah, we've put the table in here, we've got the tiles at the ready, tiles at the ready, we're trying to make it a little bit more tidy in here because it's actually such a mess. But yeah, so we've got the goggles, the machine, strapped up the walls. I'm about to do another layer just in case, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, today is cutting day. Goggles on. Do we need to go? Okay, so I forgot to mention, but when you're cutting marble tiles, you need to use a wet tile cutter in order to cut through them. Otherwise it's just like dust central. So we got this Titan wet cutting tile cutter from Screw Fix. I think it was about 55 pounds, but obviously we can use it again and again and again in multiple different projects. What I would say as well, please, please, please wear a dust mask. We were actually very ill because we forgot these on the first time. Also, be prepared to get very wet. This machine seems to just spit out water all over the place. Um, also, I forgot to mention, you need to buy a diamond blade for this machine. Also, made sure that every time we were planning on putting a tile down, the floor was completely free of any dirt or dust, so that the tile was able to go in and lay flat. I can see that it's not straight already. What? My tile. It's not good, that's never good, yeah? Yeah, it's not straight, that's why. You can see it. Okay, so we're honestly struggling to try and get this in a straight line. We've even tried it with the laser level, tried it with a pen, tried it with loads of stuff. Now we're going to try it with a bit of masking tape and see. The problem is because it's so wet, it gets any line that we do make off. So we're going to try and see if the masking tape stays put better than nothing at this rate. So yeah, like I just mentioned, we tried pens, felt tip pens, sharpies any sort of pens you name it but what we did find after trying the masking tape it was working quite well however if you've used masking tape before it's not the stickiest so in the end we ended up using duct tape and we found that this was the most efficient way to stick down a straight line and cut in a straight line because it is quite difficult. If anybody's got any tips on how you cut marble tiles in a straight line on an angle, then please pop them down in the comments because I'm sure it'll help a lot of people.
Does it fit? Yeah, with that skirting board. Okay, so we've got a tricky cut coming up here. And although I started measuring it and trying to measure it out with masking tape, decided to grab a bit of cardboard and pop it up against her and use a Stanley knife to cut it out to fit. And I think that looks okay. So what I'm gonna do now is place it on the tile try and mask that to the tile and then make these cuts here and then fingers crossed that works moment of truth does it fit yeah decent Using the cardboard as a template for the funky shapes actually worked really, really well and it saved me so much headache. We were fortunate enough that the skirting boards weren't installed on yet, so if there were any kind of like funky cuts, we could always hide them under the skirting boards and we were checking each time that it would be hidden. Okay, so we are going to grout the ones that we did. Wow. Oh, uh, corrected. We are going to stick down the ones that we did the last couple of days so we did all of these and as much as i'd love them to be stuck down they are not so i'm just going to grab some of them now I need to move all the skirt and board these down i think that's down love is in our way sometimes Okay, so then we just got stuck in gluing these down to the floor with the fast set adhesive. We still had quite a lot of that left. One thing I will say, please just prepare yourself to have a sore lower back. <laughs> Lifting the marble tiles when you're crouched down, it does pull on your lower back. But um, I got over it after a few days, but it's just something to bear in mind when you are thinking about taking on the project. Okay, so that's us all glued down this end. I don't know, I don't think I even documented yesterday. We were really tired yesterday and really grouchy, but we were literally coming to the last piece by here and the tile was cracked. <laughs> but not only that, we actually realized because we'd gone major black, so, you know, there's three rows of black, we actually ran out of two black tiles. So we needed two black tiles plus one of them had cracked so we now need three black tiles and guess what delivery cost for three black tiles is 56 pound so we can either do that or go up to monmouth which is about an hour away from where we are and grab them uh so yeah we've decided to take the day off on friday to go all the way up to monmouth to grab three black tiles it's just so annoying, like, we're so close to the end of this project, this flooring project, but we're just not there yet. So, yeah, I'll show you which tiles that we need. So we need that one down there that was cracked, and then I'll show you around here. So the others that we need, we need quite a big black tile here, there. That one needs to be black, but that can be half of one. So these two can be shared. So that's another one. And then we've got one to go by there, but we just run out of adhesive. So we thought, oh, let's just wait. And we're having this room, the ceiling plastered. So instead of popping the white one there tonight, we're going to do it at the same time as all the other black ones. And then we've got a couple more cuts in the corners here. And over there and over there. And then it's done. But it does feel like we're quite far away from that still because we've obviously got to grout everything as well. So we're hoping by end of play Friday, this will be done. Wish us luck. Okay, so we've taken the day off work to come all the way to Monmouth to grab three tiles. So we are finally here. I've brought the dog because we thought we can go for a nice little walk to make the most of it. Okay, we're back home. How many hugs?
Okay, so I think there's a couple of lessons for us to learn here. One, make sure you pick, if you're doing a diamond pattern, make sure you pick a major color. If the major color is black, like ours is, then you need to buy more black tiles. And whatever your non-major color is, you maybe need to buy less, but honestly, one thing that I think I should have done is added 10% wastage. You know when they ask you, add 10% wastage, and you're like, absolutely not, my maths is on point, plus I'm skinned. Uh, no, just get the wastage, especially if it's such a large amount of money for delivery for these tiles. I definitely think just get more than you need. You can always pop it on Facebook Marketplace afterwards or use it in another part of the house. But realistically, going up to Monmouth was not ideal. And we should have picked the major colour before ordering and ordered more of the major colour. Okay, so we're adding the spaces now for the last few tiles. So this is not the best shot in the world, but this is me putting down the last few tiles. You don't understand how happy we are <laughs> to be putting the last ones down after the kind of like saga that we've had. So yeah, and make sure you don't crack any like we did. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we just stumbled on a video online and it seems as though we need to seal these before the grout, which does make sense because they're porous. So I can imagine grout really staining the marble. So we're gonna give it all a big clean now. Um, some of the ones we did earlier are not quite dry yet. So we're just gonna wash them by hand, like gently. And then we're gonna put this on. Extreme water and oil repellent eco compatible protection. This is what Mandarin Stone recommended, so we're gonna put that on. But first of all, we need to clean these tiles because some of them are honestly rank. Okay, so one thing to remember with marble is it is extremely porous, so you do not want to skip this part of sealing because if you dropped a bit of coffee or anything on these tiles, it's gonna soak through and it'll be there forever. So make sure you don't skip the sealing part. Okay, and this is how it was looking after the sealant. So it's definitely worth doing because it looks so good and it's not even grouted yet. So thankfully, Alex grouted the hallway tiles. One big tip that we've found, we've grouted quite a few tiles now, especially in a dark grout, is get blue roll or kitchen roll to wipe away the grout. It is literally a lifesaver um, and it really does help to lift away all the excess grout. And here it is. This is the result of our hallway marble tile installation laid in a diamond pattern. <laughs> we definitely came across lots of obstacles, but you know what, in the end, it looks fantastic. We've saved ourselves a lot of money and we've learned a valuable life skill, one that we don't want to do anytime soon, but we'll definitely try again in the future. One thing I would say is just make sure your floors are flat and level. Prior to the installation, we had self-level put down on the floor, so it's nice and level for us to just get cracking. So don't forget that step. If you're thinking about doing it yourself, I would say you can 100% do it. If we can do it, we haven't got a clue what we're doing half the time, then you can do it too. Good luck with your projects and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.